Hi, this is Mike Hibbert, back with another Python tutorial for you. Um, this time we're going to be sub covering the subject of MongoDB and Python's interface to MongoDB, which is PyMongo. Um, I'm going to discuss some of the similarities between the d database systems that you might have used already, such as MySQL, and also some of the, the ways that they're different. So you can see that some of the stuff that you already have experience with it can lend itself to using the MongoDB as well. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have a running instance of MongoDB on your system. And if you haven't, then you need to go away and install that and get that up and running. Once you've done that, if you come back to this tutorial, then it'll take you through the parts of this system, this tutorial that can deal with the Python side of things. So the first part is basically to import uh, the module that we're going to use. Now we're not going to import the whole module, we're going to import part of the module because we're just going to do a simple basic uh, tutorial on, on how to just get connected and start doing queries and inserting and updating and deleting records. So the first thing we need to know how to do is to import a connection class. The connection class allows us to connect to the database whether that's on your local machine or whether that's across the network. Um, so in some instances you can supply an IP address and a port number to the connection class and in our case because it's an on my local machine I don't need to do that it'll do that by default and automatically go to the the local host address so the first thing we do obviously with the code is we create our if name equals main just so that we can know that this is the main module being run currently and then we create a connection instance and like I said because it's local machine we don't need to supply any IP addresses or port addresses or anything like that we just basically say con equals connection and that gives us a connection to the database that's running on my local machine the next part is an interesting um, situation that um, most people who have dealt with other databases won't have come across and it's that with uh, with databases you normally connect to the database and then you select the database that you want to use within that instance um, you do that the same in MongoDB but in this case with the PyMongo module we don't have uh, any defined uh, databases in our database so we just basically say um, in the connection our database will equal the connections member variable test underscore database that will cause the connection object to go away and check within MongoDB if there is a test underscore database existing already and if it isn't it will create it automatically for us so just by doing that one line we've created a database within MongoDB the next line is to do something similar because in normal databases you usually have tables well in MongoDB you have collections of information so in this particular database test underscore database we're going to create a collection called people and to do that we do the same again we create a variable and then we make it equal the member variable of our database object and the member variable that we're going to get is people and again this causes the database object to go away look inside of the database and say do I have a table or a collection in this case of uh, people and if it doesn't it goes and creates that collection and returns an instance to that so that we can work with it and it's as simple as that there's no schema in MongoDB so there's no creation of uh, tables and then deciding what the columns would be called or what kind of data types they are we just basically say create this collection and we'll decide what that information is later on to basically put information into there it's very simple all we use is the insert command which is on our collection and to insert data we supply it with a dictionary 
and a dictionary in this case is a name and a food keyword with values for a name and for a food but it doesn't necessarily have to be like that because as I said earlier uh, MongoDB is a schemaless database so there are there are no restrictions about what you can put in there so in the case of this record which is for John I've put that he likes ham but I've also said that he's got a location of the UK and that will insert too and again with this record I haven't supplied a location so I don't necessarily have to create all of the keys for every record that I insert and MongoDB will be fine with that now once we've ins inserted information then we're going to want to pull it back out again and the simplest way to do that is the equivalent of what you would do as a select star from table in some other SQL type database and for us that's to simply use the find method and that will find every record that's in the database and it'll assign them into a list or a collection of people or peeps in my case and for the purposes of debugging I'm going to output them using this for loop just to print into the Python shell those records. So at this stage, if we run this, which I'll do now, we should see three records come out for Mike, John, and Michelle. So there's three records, and as you can see, they've come out Mike, John, and Michelle. Notice John has his extra location, and notice also these things that are on the beginning of the strings that are inside of these dictionaries that it's output. The U meaning Unicode. So these Unicode strings are what are, what are being is, is representative of the data that's been stored in the database. Also notice that we have this Unicode string called underscore ID with an object ID with this number inside. And this is what MongoDB is creating to be able to track these records inside the system. Now that might be useful in the future if you want to find a specific um, record that has an object ID that you know of, you could use that as a search string. So I'll just clear the output from the Python shell because we're going to move on to the next bit which is to basically uh, do a more refined search. So the next part is to basically start supplying the find method with a dictionary of keys and values that it can match so in this case we do food cheese and again the results are put in a for loop and printed out we should see that there should be two results in there because there's only two people in the data now as you can see we've got four people but if I scroll along you can see that these four people are actually two people repeated twice Mike Michelle Mike Michelle why is that well as you know we ran the program once before when we did this find command and it inserted three records that time around and then we ran it again and then inserted another three for this test. So, as you can see, any records that you create persist past the execution of your of your program. They're stored inside the ins ins instance of MongoDB. And they'll stay there until you clear them out. And I'm going to show you at the end of this program how to clear them out. But for the time being, you can see there that you'll get duplicates out. Now, our next section is to refine the search a little bit further and in the case of most SQL languages you can do something um, called a like term where you basically can put in your SQL string uh, give me things that are like the following pattern and you can do the similar, a similar thing in MongoDB and PyMongo 
but it's do using regular expressions. So how do we do a regular expression and supply that to the find command? What we do is we do our normal find command, supply it with a column name or a, or a key, and instead of a value, we supply it with a reg regular expression. And to do that, we open another dictionary within there, give it a key, dollar regex, and then in the value part, we put the actual string. And in the case of this, <coughs> I'm going to find everything that matches a capital M or a lowercase m and a lowercase i. And in that case, it should match our records, Mike and Michelle. And obviously we've already got duplicate records in, so it'll pull out everything that matches that if we were to run that. But I'll not run that right now. I'll do that at the end once I've shown you how to remove records so we can clean up our data a bit. Now, the next section is how do we update a record? Well, to do that, we're going to use um, one special search function which is called find one. Now, find normally brings back a group of records, but find one, even if you passed a search term that matched several records, will only bring back the first one it finds. So there's, there is a way to just pull back one record, and only one record, and that's to use find one. So we're using that to say, give me any record, or one record, where the food key matches ham. And to do that, we're probably going to pull back John's record because you notice he matches that criteria. Once we've done that and we've pulled back one person, we're going to use person as if it was uh, an array or a, a dict and set the food key to equal eggs. And then finally use our, per our people collection and use the method save to save that person back into the people collection. And again, we have another list here, another set of code here just to print out the updated record, which should find the record where the food is now matching eggs. And now for our very last part of this part is just to basically find all of the records in the database and use the remove method on our collection to remove that person and that should effectively remove every record out of MongoDB that we've created for this collection so that we can clean up our data after we're finished. Um, you don't necessarily have to do that because obviously if you want records to persist past the running time of your program then you'll want to keep them in there but in for the purposes of my demonstration I want to remove them so that I don't have all of these duplicates that we've been printing out here. So I'm going to run it once. Then I'm going to run it again. And we'll see that it's removed all of the duplicates in there. And now, in my Python window, my console, I see my find, insert and find test brings back three records as we programmed it to do. Then find with dict, where we said match where the food equals cheese. Just here. Then our regex test, which said match anything with the uppercase and lowercase m, and the, letter, un, the lowercase letter i. Then our regex test here, you can see that it's matched Mike and Michelle. And then finally, our update has gotten John's record back. We updated the food to eggs and then we saved it. And now we find anybody in the database that has this food setting as eggs and print that person and here we can see on the bottom line that record is only one and it's John as we expected. 
So that concludes my uh, tutorial on using PyMongo to interface with, Py, with MongoDB. I hope you enjoyed that and if you did then please click the like button. If you'd like to see further tutorials on Python and various other aspects of the, of the modules and languages involved then please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.